If you've ever worked on some kind of dev team or built out an app or website, really anything user facing, chances are you've worked with a designer and they've built everything out in something like Figma. They then hand you the design and they say, okay, you're on your own now, go ahead and code this out. Now this always seemed a little bit backwards and broken to me. We've already got the entire app, it looks great, it works in Figma, it's well structured, and now all of a sudden I need to remake the entire thing, and worst case, now something changes in the design, I gotta figure out what that change is and go in the code and do it manually. Now this is really inefficient, and fortunately we now have some awesome AI tools that can actually do all of this for you. Now you may have seen my previous video on a game-changing AI tool called locify.ai that is a design to code tool that could convert any Figma file into high quality front-end code in just a few steps. Now today I'm teaming up with them to share with you their latest product, which is Locify Lightning, which is even better than the last one and can do all of this in a single step. That's right, one step, you can take an entire Figma document and convert that into high quality, readable, reusable front-end code. It really is absolutely game-changing. Best part, it's completely free. And I'm gonna show you a quick demo here of exactly how it works. Now, this tool is powered by something called Loco AI, which leverages their in-house large design models, which are trained on millions of designs and applications. Now, this really is the future of front-end development. And the best part is that this is all available inside of Figma's dev mode. This is a new workspace that helps you transition from design to code faster. With Figma's dev mode, you can easily inspect designs, view code from design components, compare changes, export assets, and more. Dev mode also works seamlessly in Figma for VS Code, which I'll get into later in this video. So to get started with Locify Lightning, what we'll need to do is toggle dev mode in Figma. So we can go to this button up here in the top right hand corner. This will enable dev mode and we should now see a plugins tab. If you're not seeing that, you can go to the left hand side here and you can go to plugins and then click on manage plugins. From here, we'll simply search for Locify, which you can see that if I can type correctly is already here. And now we'll load up the Locify plugin. From here, what we're able to do is actually generate all of the code for our Figma file by simply clicking a single button. So first we'll select a few settings for the type of code that we want. So you can see we have some options, React, HTML, CSS, Next.js, View, etc. And then we can go here and select if we want TypeScript, JavaScript, Tailwind, Pixels, Rem, you get the idea. And later on, if you change your mind, you can actually adjust this and the code will be regenerated for you. So I'm gonna click on apply and then on let's go. From here, we'll select all of the frames. We can do that by holding shift and just selecting the ones that we want. And then we can go ahead and convert these four frames. Now at this point, what local AI will do is actually optimize our design by making it responsive using things like auto layout. And then it will tag interactive elements like buttons, inputs, etc., as well as creating different reusable components and automatically suggesting layer and class names to make our code more reusable and clean. This is pretty incredible that with a single button click, obviously once we've selected our options here, we can generate all of the different code and Loco AI handles all of this for us. Now this differs from the previous version of Locify where there's a few steps that you need to run through. Here the Loco AI takes care of all of it and you can see at this point that now we've generated the code and we can actually go ahead and view an interactive preview as well as the code. So let's make this a little bit larger here. Okay, so expand this on the left side. We'll expand this demo and let's just zoom in a bit so we can actually see it. And you'll notice that I can click on the different interactable elements. So these were tagged by local AI as interactable elements. I can go in, choose different options, press on the buttons. I can even view different responsive views here. So if we make this a bit smaller, you'll see that as I click through, we can view what it looks like on large screens, small screens, etc., to make sure it's nice and responsive. And now if we uncollapse this and continue to scroll down here, you'll see that we can actually view all of the code and the components that Loco AI created. So let me expand the code here and you'll see if we click through the different pages, so details, sign up, etc., we get all of the code. We get the components that were created and Loco AI has created pixel perfect components for all of the different pages that are involved in our application. So now at this point that we've got the code, there's a few options here. We can copy the code just by pressing this button. We can download it and modify it directly 
or we can move further and talk about something known as the builder. So if I click on continue and builder, what we're able to do here is actually sync our code with the Locify builder, which allows us to view the generated components. We can actually bind dynamic data and then we can export the code and sync it with things like GitHub. This is pretty cool and it gives us quite a few options and allows us to really customize this generated code before we bring it into something like our IDE. So we have a few options here. First thing we'll need to do is obviously connect to our Locify account, which we probably already would have done. And now what we can do is create a new project. So I'm just going to call this Locify with Tim like that. We can choose any of the options we want. So I'll just leave it as TypeScript, CSS variables, and then we can select a UI library if we want that. So I'm just going to leave this as is go ahead and click on create and I'm going to go to all selected frames so that it brings our entire project over into the builder. So what I'll do now is I'll sync this to the builder. We'll give this a second and then I'll run you through the builder and show you exactly how this works and how we can really take this to the next level. All right, so we've been redirected to the builder now and I just want to quickly take a step back and recall what just happened. We opened up a Figma file. We enabled the Locify plugin in Figma dev mode. And then in one single click, after we selected our options, we were able to generate all of the code for that Figma file. And there's a bunch of different options. And now we're viewing it inside of this editor where we can make changes, bind data, etc. So this platform here is the Locify Builder. It has a bunch of different things that you can do inside of here. I'll give you a quick kind of overview of how it works so that you understand the lay of the land. And then we can talk about export settings, viewing this in VS Code, etc. So let's just make this a little bit larger so we can view it a bit easier. And we can see here that on the left hand side of our screen, we have our layer panel. Now the layer panel just allows us to view all of the different root components and layers that are created for us. So we can see the different frames, etc., that we have within the current page. We can change into the different pages like the sign up page, the details, the main content. And if we want, we can go to the file explorer here and we can view all of the different components, the CSS, and we can restructure this and change the hierarchy if we want to do that. Now, those are kind of the two main things here on the left hand side. In the middle of the screen here, we have this interactive kind of demo that allows us to select different elements. And then I can also change the screen size so I can make sure everything is nice and responsive. And you can see that as I do that, it actually selects the different frames that I'm on so I can view the entire hierarchy of my project in this layer panel. So if I bring the code window up, you can see that as I actually select different elements on the screen, it automatically adjusts what file and what code it's showing me so that we can see exactly where the relevant code is, which is pretty useful. Now, as well as that, we've got some options on the right hand side here so we can bind dynamic data. This allows us to actually create state variables and link those to different components. We can configure our code and then we can export sync and deploy this code with a bunch of different options. For example, we can push it directly to GitHub. Now, another Another great feature is that we've got a live prototype. So if I click on view prototype here, you can see that we have the prototype. Let me just zoom in a little bit so we can see this easier. I can select some different dates, for example, go ahead and press on search brings me to the next page. And then if I want, I can actually share this prototype. So if I click on share prototype, it will give me a public link. By default, it will go to whatever page I select up here. And then we can copy the link, paste it. People will be able to view the prototype immediately. Obviously, we can also change the screen size again to make sure that everything looks nice. And then we can go back and edit this in the builder. So now let's quickly talk about components because this is one of the main concerns many people have when using a tool like this. They want to make sure it's actually giving them good, reusable and clean code that has the correct components. So we can go ahead and click on view. And when we do this, we'll be able to see all of the components that have been created by Loco AI. What it does is automatically identify all of the reusable components and it will assign human readable names to them. Now, if we scroll through here, we can see a few different components and we can go over to something like the stays nearby cart. Now, within here, we can click between different instances of the component and we can see that we're viewing those in the preview. And we actually have the ability to edit any of the property names and the values. So if we scroll through here, we can see all of the prop names, which are reusable and actually quite good. We then have the ability to detach this component if we want, and we can also create manual versions of components as well. 
So let's say at this point, you've set up all your components, you're happy with this, and you actually wanna take this code now and export it. Well, first of all, you may wanna actually change something. So if you go to configure code, you have the ability to select, for example, Tailwind instead of CSS modules. And now if you just go ahead and click on save, it will automatically update the code for you. So you can actually see now that if we bring this up in kind of real time there, it changed this. So now we're using Tailwind classes rather than using our CSS modules. Anyways, let's say you're happy with this now. You can go ahead and go to sync, export, and deploy. We've got a bunch of different options here. You can go to Netlify, Vercel, etc. Or for most of us, we probably want to go to GitHub. So what I'll do is click on sync project here. So we'll sync the project with GitHub. We need to connect our account, which I'll do right now. And then we can push this to a new repository. All right, so now that I've connected my GitHub, I can just create a new repository. So let's just go locify with Tim demo like that. And we can confirm this you'll see that we get kind of this GitHub staging view where we can select the files. We don't need to change anything here. And we'll just push this directly to GitHub. All right, so now we can go over to our repository and we can see we've got all of the code here. We can modify it, we can do whatever we'd want with our GitHub repo. So now a final step that I'll share with you, pretty much all of the kind of conversion from the UI or from the Figma file to code, we don't actually need to do from our web browser. We can do it directly from our IDE like VS Code. So let me show you here a great plugin that we can use, specifically Figma's plugin that lets us pretty much follow along with those same steps directly in the IDE. All right, so I just opened up VS Code here and what we can do is actually enable the Figma extension. So if I type here in the extension panel, Figma, you can see this will pop up. Now I've already installed it. Obviously you need to install it and then sign in. And then you can click on it on the bottom left here. So when I click on Figma, you'll see we get a bunch of different projects. I can go to my shared files and click on the one that I wanna open up. And here now we can close that tab and you'll see that it actually loads up Figma for us on the right hand side of the screen. So now what we can do is click into a frame. So maybe we'll click into the home page here and we can now enable the Locify plugin directly from VS Code in this Figma extension. So we'll just type Locify, click on that. And now we'll be able to do the exact same steps where we can run and automatically convert this into code. So if we scroll down here, we have the ability to say, let's go. So again, we can click on what we want. So React, TypeScript, etc. We'll click on let's go. We can select the frame that we want. So let's just make this a little bit larger. Let's select the home page, for example. Maybe this time we just want to do one frame and we can go ahead and convert that. Now again, Locify is gonna automatically optimize this design for us and then spit out the finished code. So there you are, we've got our code and the process has finished. All right guys, so with that, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Now I just wanted to show you this really game-changing AI tool that is pretty incredible from going from a design to code in quite literally one step. Obviously there's tons of customizations, a lot of other features you can mess around with, but I wanna thank Locify for sponsoring this video and allowing me to share this product with you. As I said, it's currently free. You can check it out, mess with it in Figma or directly inside of VS Code, and hopefully it's gonna save you a ton of time like it's been saving me. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.